Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andre Salazar. Today's episode, Finding Your Art Parents, is kind of a fun episode. I'm kind of working on myself. I want to share with you my art parents. What are those artistic influences on me and the what I like and what I'm trying to do and help you guys kind of look for the artists that you gravitate to and finding those kind of art parents. So the concept of an art parent or finding those kind of influences of people in the field that you want to do, what really kind of turns you on, what are the styles and the type of art that you would like to emulate or use from. So as Wally Wood said, um, it's all about um, taking from the best, stealing, you know, Robert Fawcett said it as well, uh, steal from the best, that's what makes great artists. And so what are those things, who are those people that do the things that you love, that you would love to emulate, you would love to steal from? Taking that, learning from them, and then making your art. So that's what Art Parents is all about. And so today, I'm gonna to share with you four of my kind of, these are my top four, these are my parents. They're not my favorite artist ever, so to speak, in comics, but they're the ones that I'm gravitating to most most like the most right now and I think that um, those parents can change and may change through time you know before I, I would say maybe Frazetta you know maybe 10 years ago but I'm kind of like these are the parents I've got this is what I'm trying to learn from and so it's just a way to kind of like think about learning using those techniques and kind of like building out your own style and your own art chops so for my four art parents, it doesn't have to be a mom and a dad, it could be more than two. Uh, we're gonna go with Sienkiewicz to start us off, okay? Bill Sienkiewicz, and we're gonna go into this in each of these, but Bill Sienkiewicz is one of my top favorites of all time, no doubt. And um, expression, line, gesture, emotion, this guy's got it. He is, he's the guy. So. He's definitely someone that I look to, that I study from. These four guys are guys that I would want to have like artist editions. Uh, these are the four that I would want to like pour over the originals and study the techniques, you know, the choices they're making as an artist and what can I learn from that, okay? So another thing you would do with an art parent is you would pick an artist like Sienkiewicz and then do a master study, right? You'd pick something and you would recreate it, right? To learn the style, to learn what they're doing. And as you're recreating it, as you're kind of mimicking or copying it, you're learning. You're learning like the choices they made in the lighting, the value, the composition, the line weight, all those kind of things, the inking. You learn as you copy. So Sienkiewicz is one of them. Um, Mobius, I'm gonna have to do Mobius. He's probably the least from my own like style of art, but his stuff is brilliant. He is extremely prolific, and so there's tons of his work out there. So we're gonna talk a little Mobius. That's two, two more to go. Um, we're gonna do Jean-Paul Leon. I love his stuff. Contemporary, still pumping out stuff. You know, probably not in the same class as these other two as far as like wealth of work and you know uh, mainstream appeal but this guy's got chops like seriously he is one of one of the best guys now I love his stuff you know and in his camp you might think like Michael Lark is another guy and some of those like those kind of style uh, with him so him and then he's probably a derivative I would say of this bad boy Alex Toth this is my number one, Alex Tove. This is one of those IDW books, which we should go through these actually on the channel. Um, clean, simplified, very dynamic, and just just clean, um, understandable. You 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 read it. It's readable. The art, you know what's going on. Brilliant stuff. We're gonna go through all of these right now and talk a little bit about them and why they're my art parents, and maybe get you thinking about who your art artistic parents are. 
Okay guys, let's talk about Sienkiewicz really quickly. Now I did a video previously, you can check it out, on um, New Mutants. And I also did a video on Electra Assassin. So you've seen me gush over this guy. And this is painted, uh, so this is like a whole kind of another ball game. Um, and then this is the pencils. And so really I'm kind of focusing more is just far as from a learning perspective on his line and ink work because that's what my book is. My book's not a painted book. So it's this kind of stuff, right? This kind of stuff. How I'm trying to like learn from this. He's my he's one of my inspirations. I'm choosing him as a parent so that I can like study this. And just, you know, how is he doing these lines? Um, what are the tools? Now, if I had the artist edition, I could see like, okay, I can tell that, you know, he's probably using a crow quill for most of this stuff. And then he might do some brush on the heavy stuff, but this looks a lot crow quill in here. And why does he do those lines? And they're all originating from this point and just kind of just studying the design of, excuse me, the techniques he's using for some of the line work. And then looking at kind of holistically on a big picture scale, the um, composition and the dynamic kind of look to the page. So these are the things that I'm studying. He, I think, is one of the best there. I mean, look, he, when he moves his, his movement lines, he's doing, you know, he's not doing little like small little hatches. He's doing these like dry brush techniques on movement, which actually, I need to steal that because I've got some movement in my book. I need to write this down. <laughs> I gotta write that down, like steal, you know, dry brush movement uh, for sh to show that. So there's just all kinds of stuff. See, every time I do these videos, I like to learn more and I'm thinking, man, I gotta like go back and just look at this some more. So I think he is one of the best. And this was in the 80s, you guys. This was not recent. So he's just, think about how much more uh, he is now with all the, the more experience and skills he's got. So great stuff. I love the way he draws women as well. Their hair. I love his, the hair, how he puts, um, it's just, he, he just does some, some details, some really quick light, and then he'll just, uh, the sparsity of line, you know, that stuff is great. Anyway, huge fan. He's got it going. Bill Sienkiewicz. So that's number one. Uh, number two is Mobius. And I've got a couple of his stuff. We're, I'll just share with you the world of Adina right now. His stuff is so different. So part of the, the plan of doing art parents is you don't want them all necessarily in the same school of thought or style. And that's why the Toth and the Jump Out Leon are pretty similar. My um, my honorable mentions, if you will, would be Beasley, uh, Keith Giffen, and Darwin Cook, which all have very different styles than the rest of these. So those are other three artists that I kind of like grow, go to. But he is a great just line. Uh, his line is singular, simple, you know, rapidograph or a tech pen, and that's it. And that's how he draws. And he's not screwing around with hatching in this story. I mean, if you look in Blueberry, he, he knows how to do that. He knows how to use a brush, of course. But this is a very different type of line, and yet it has volume. Part of that is the coloring, and things like that, of course, but um, he is just great. Mobius, I mean, we can talk about Mobius for days and days on this stuff. And you, there's just a huge number of people who have been influenced by him, including stuff, people like Jeff Darrow, right? Um, a lot of the European artists are coming from him. Now here, he, he put some shadows and he'll put, I mean, excuse me, the, he'll put these like hatching lines and things like that. But look at these, this, the positioning, the, the three-dimensionality, the isometric kind of, uh, drawing style and, and the way he draws like dirt and debris and and um, you know dents and and weather damage it's just brilliant I mean look at this stuff so he is he, he is definitely somebody to study um, 
he's the real McCoy. So this is Mobius. This is one of his books. We're gonna do In Call, which is probably his most infamous book. Um, we'll do that book as well. And we'll, we'll go into detail with these books. So we're just talking line. I'm not really going into the color aspect, but that's a whole nother decision. And I mean, look at that, cut the color for that. Look how he did that. And this was a while back, but just the, the decisions on that, the complimentary colors everywhere here, the way it shows, uh, you know, depth because of the colors. So good. And then look here, look at that car. That car is brilliant. Look at that, how it's done. You know, maybe he had a toy he used, but maybe he just figured that out, you know? So Mobius, you can't go wrong. Um, let's go to Winterman. Now I did a video on this one as well. Uh, so you know my thoughts of the of this book, but I'll just reiterate it to say as a parent as a one of my art parents I studied this book His backgrounds. Here's a guy who does do backgrounds on every panel, you know Lark does that too where they're not gonna fart around. They're gonna do these whole backgrounds So you get that depth you get that world You get this reality of a place and for me as an artist I just look at this and say wow this page alone took days to do because he's not just putting two people sitting he's putting all those people waiting in line to get their hamburger you know and that all takes time but it adds so much realism and adds so much to the story um and he's got a great sense of design of course as you can tell from here and just the way he um you know, look at this paint. This is just a great, right? That's just brilliant. There's just a lot of great, great art choices he does. I think he does come from the Alex Toad School. And I think when I talked to him years ago, he said that was an influence of his. But he's got a lot of great brushwork and line work. He, he does keep it simple. A little bit more um, detailed than Toth. Um, so a little bit more modern kind of look in that, that regard. But uh, yeah, he's one of the best. So definitely someone that I kind of steady from. And then the last is, is Toad, which is my big bad mama. And I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit bigger for this book. This book's kind of massive. And I've got all three of these. And these are like my pride and pride, pride and joy here. Um, just a collection of different types of stories. And he is a master of shape, a master of, of simplicity. He's, you know, keep it simple, make it readable. You know, you can understand what it's about. And a lot of this is coming from, like, his animation background. But he did comics before he did animation. I mean, look at this here. This is just a wonderful page. Get all these faces. They're all coming in. Different kind of line work, you know. Um, the positioning of this right here, how she's coming up over him with the arms, gathering the plates. It's just really well done, man. It's just... it was ahead of its time. It's the gold standard. I love the way he uses inks. He puts a lot of great, his, he, the way he spots light and dark, black and white is his, his jam. That's his jam. That's what he excels at is his blacks and whites and how he just really makes that stuff sing. Here's like some Vietnam stuff. He did some more comics. Um, and the jungle is not super overwrought, but it's detailed, you know, the silhouette of these guys coming through there. Um, really, really great stuff. This is IDW's book. Uh, look at this one. This actually reminds me of an old, like, uh, oh yeah, I was gonna say Eerie, but yeah, so clearly the Eerie epic. And then he would do this kind of more of a cartoony style. So he could do, he can do it all. You know, here's more animation, kind of clean stuff. But he was all about keeping it clean and readable uh so that's alex toth so he's another guy that i am huge fan of uh and so i learned from him right i study this stuff and i look and see you know how does he how does he draw those pants so maybe i would just draw this little sketch a couple times and okay how do i put those creases in there and and you know how do you draw those boots you know and and how much information do i put do i put any information or do i just keep it all black solid black on the shirt and so that's what he did just to keep that shape um so you don't need to put the buttons you don't need to put the folds in that so there's those kind of decisions that i kind of try to learn from so that's part of having an art parent 
and kind of learning from him and studying and maybe doing a couple, you know, uh, you know, pages of his copying a couple images that um, you do just to kind of learn. So that's that's art parents. That's that whole kind of concept. And that's mine. What are yours? Tell me in the comments. What are some of the, the artists that you really uh, kind of get jived on? And um, also check out my Patreon page. I got some new comics going on there. I have a daily comic strip I do uh, that's free, open to the public. There's a couple other uh, scripts and things that I've got that are open. So feel free to check out the Patreon. See if there's anything there that excites you. Link and subscribe. And let me know what you think of the video. Thanks, guys. Bye.